We all know the formula for determining the length of a vertical antenna ground radio. Its wavelength divided by frequency times the square root of the solar flux during the spring equinox on the 30th of February for two hours at 662 degrees Celsius with a pinch of salt for flavoring, divided by the number of radials you intend to use. A bit overly dramatic there, Bob, don't you think? I believe you all know I was just kidding. But we also know that if we ask two experienced hams what the correct ground radial length is for a vertical antenna for portable operations, we would get seven different opinions. If you want to find out what your radial length should be, start with the manufacturer's recommendations of the particular antenna system you are using. DX Commander is known to have some excellent material on ground radials. Investigate his information. K8MRD has been doing some really great videos on this topic. I have recently been using 16 and a half foot radials on both 20 meters and 40 meters single sideband voice. A lot of people are asking the length question. That's not our question today. Our question is how do we set this up so it works quickly across all of our portable antenna systems. This works with our Wolf River coil. Clip on to the tripod take your banana plug, place it in the ring terminal. Spread out your radials. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you how to spread out radials, you know how to do that. Let's say you want more than three radials on this particular antenna. Create for yourself one of these alligator clips with two ring terminals or as many ring terminals as you want. You would have to just get a longer screw to screw into the alligator clip. You can then place the second one anywhere on that same tripod, or depending on the antenna system you were working on, you could actually clip it to the other alligator clip. Good to go. This works with the gable tripod and the antenna system I've been showing on the channel. You know that this comes with three ring terminals that are already attached to the tripod. So you can take as many of this radial system setup that you want and go directly into the tripod, or you can use the alligator clip and just clip it on to the ring terminal itself. This works with your Chameleon Antenna's CHA spike. I have placed one of my ring terminals right here on the threaded screw that they provide. If you want to protect that ring terminal in your pack, when you put it with all your other gear, just orient it down so it doesn't stick out and get caught on anything. For this illustration, I'm going to put it to the side. Again, you could add multiples here, and now all of a sudden, guess what? We have a ground radial system for our CHA spike. There is a different way to do this, and it's one of the reasons why I chose this particular alligator clip. When I put my uh, banana plug into that alligator clip, this actually fits on the spike itself. Super Antenna has provided spade terminals for their radial systems with the system that we're using. You can clip this directly to the, the base. You can clip it to the ground spike you can clip it to the spade. This antenna mount may look familiar to you. It's the lowest cost antenna mount ever with a 98 cent ground spike from Home Depot. With this particular setup, you can clip directly to the bolt on the mirror mount, or you can clip to that 98 cent ground spike. Here we have two completely different pieces of equipment. You've seen my BD7 IBI uh, ground spike that I've done several videos on. They provide two ground lugs. You could go directly onto those two ground lugs. You could go directly on the ground spike. However, that doesn't leave you a lot to go into the ground, so I'd recommend going onto the ground lug. You see I have this paired with the toy box antenna. People are bipolar about this. For those of you who love it, you would just simply go right after this little ring terminal here. That's not big enough to take our banana plug and you would take the system that we've developed and go right on top of that lug. I'll put links in the description below of everything I'm sharing with you today. I've spent about six months putting this together, experimenting with various wire, various clips, various banana plugs, and various ring terminals. And I've sorted out all the duds, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. You don't need to use my Amazon links because you'll see brand information as well, and you can go purchase this anywhere you would like. Let's talk wire. I use BN TechGo from Amazon 20 gauge. I pick up various bright colors so that when I'm out operating in the field, it's easy to see. Orange, yellow, this yellow really stands out great against the grass. I pick this because it's very flexible. It's not holding the shape right when you bend it, so that's a good thing. And then also because it's just silky smooth. This stuff does not tangle easily, and when they get wrapped around each other at 16 and a half feet or 33 feet, it is rather easy to untangle them. So this is my choice of wire. 
Why, yes, I did purchase every alligator clip from Amazon that had a decent rating. Anything for you. Let me give you my rating for our particular use case. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, no. No, getting close. Almost there. Yes. All right, let's get rid of these guys. They are totally worthless to us. And let's talk about these guys right here. Why would I pick these? Well, first of all, they're a brand name. I think that's Mueller. Perhaps that's how you pronounce that. And I was looking for something that was a good brand name, had durability. These things will just go and go and go and go. We're going to wear out my fingers and my wrists before we wear these out. They're going to have long life. I'm putting something in my kit, my go bag. I need reliability. The second thing was, because I'm making this applicable to any antenna system, I'm looking at worst case scenario. What do I need to clamp these on? The biggest ground spike that I have is my chameleon chaw spike. These two smaller guys, they fit, they fit, but they're a real tight fit. And these are both the same size. They're rated at a different amperage. So this is a 20 amp and this is a 40 amp. They tricked me on this. I bought one of these at 40 amp and I thought, okay, I like that. Oh, copper, let's get some nice patina in the kit. And when these came in, they were smaller. So these will work, but what they don't do well is hold our ring terminal, which we'll come to in a minute. Even with the larger one, you have to bend these ears over to get the ring terminal in. It works great, but I went with the larger one because it handles the ring terminal better. And that's why this is the one we want. We want this Mueller 25 40 amp with this screw in it so that we can put our ring terminal there. Don't let the fact that there are only three terminals here fool you. This was a real pain. So first of all, you have to find something that has a barrel that will accept the size of the banana plug that you're working with. And this is another simple one once you have all three. No, no, yes. High quality, yeah, great. But it's just a monster to fit here in even the largest of the clips. And I was going to have to modify this terminal and do some significant modification to the alligator clip. So the answer was no on this guy, even though he's easily available on Amazon. This guy here is a perfect fit. That is the size we need for our banana plug. This is a good size for the ring terminal, but look at this. Eh, no junk. You know, you saw how easy that was for me to bend. No, this is not going in our kit. No way. We're left with this guy right here. This is a Desco Banana Jack. And again, I'll leave a link. You can't get this on Amazon, but there are a couple of places that you can buy this. Again, it's a Desco, D-E-S-C-O, Banana Jack. Perfect size to accept the banana plugs we've chosen. And it is, you, I'm not gonna bend this. This is not gonna bend. So durable, perfect size. This is what we want. Here's where we have to pay particular attention. All five of these banana plugs have a good rating on Amazon. However, I would consider these three inferior for our use case. While they cost pennies and nickels compared to just under $2 for one of these, I did find that these are prone to snap. The springs that are part of this, I snapped one and about put a big gash in my finger. So I'm not interested in these. I have been using this set here for several months now repeatedly and it is holding up with no problem, no sign of wear. The reason why I choose this one, which is a Suwell, Sewell, whatever, uh, is this. There's another kind that's also very high quality, but to put your wire in this, you unscrew the bottom of it, you insert your wire through the bottom, you strip off the wire from this end, you fold it back over the threads, and then you screw back over top of the threads. That's going to work fine if you want a single wire radial, but if you want three wires, four wires, five wires, and a single plug, this is the way to go. When you take your cover off of this one, what you have is a pretty large barrel that I think we can fit five, six, maybe more wires in there of the wire I'm recommending and using. And it also has two set screws that are offset on the barrel. So this is strong as far as how it is holding your wire in place and you can get many more wires into this banana plug. This is what you want. 
My radial is 16 and a half foot long, and it's a set of three. You're looking at the banana plug end and the raw end. For those of you who feel queasy about committing to 16 and a half feet, understand you can run as many wires as you want out of this banana plug up to six, or you could run a single one out of here. And on as many of this end as you choose, you could put the female version of the banana plug. And that's what I'm showing here. I'm not actually going to do it. You would strip a section of the wire to make the wire bare. This is a solder connection. You would solder this together put the protective cover over it or some heat shrink. And then you could take a second length of wire attached to another banana plug and get yourself a length that you are looking for on your radial system. So you go to 16 and a half out to another 16 and a half and get your 33 feet or whatever you need for the frequency that you're operating on. Another option you have to get more radials out there is to take a Y adapter and attach it to your ring terminal on your alligator clip. All right, those are some extra options. This is endless, it's an erector set type. You can just keep going and going and going. Let me show you how to connect your wire to the banana plug, and then let me show you how to get this ring terminal on the alligator clip. The banana plugs come in a set of six, so 12 total, and I believe they were right around $20 for the set when I purchased them. You're going to be a little bit confused about the righty tighty lefty loosey just based on the design of the case you'll figure it out pretty quick loosen both set screws on the barrel don't come out so far that you drop them or make sure you're working in an area where you can find them because you'll have fun getting them back in again i have pre-stripped the insulation off of these six wires back far enough that the insulation is right at the end of the barrel. The insulation will not fit in here if you're going with six wires. It did fit in when I did it in my set of three. So let's go ahead and twist our six wires together. And I'm just showing the max capacity of this. I'm not suggesting six. In you go. I would Tighten up the front set screw first, just to make sure that you have pull and tension in the front. Tug on it a bit. Yep, we do. And then tighten the set screw in the back. I torqued down on this really hard uh, on the ones that I've been using in the field now for several months. No need for me to do that here now. You get the idea. Six sets easily fit in there. Again, you've got to strip your insulation back all the way to the back of the barrel. Then put our protective cover back on. And we are good to go. Six wires. I have three, you can do one, whatever makes sense for your system setup. Now let's get this ring terminal onto our alligator clip. Take your alligator clip and a good pair of needle nose pliers and just bend these ears down flat. I imagine they're there to clamp down on a piece of wire or a small terminal. Then we're going to want to take our standard head screw out of the threads. Basic stuff here. The threads on this alligator clip, this particular brand that I purchased, are more than just the thickness of the plate steel. It actually protrudes below the bottom of the alligator clip itself. So you get several threads here. That's a good feature. Take your Desco um, ring terminal, put your screw back in, and tighten down. Fantastic. Now what I did on the first one that I've actually been working with and testing with out in the field for the last several months is I just bent the ears back up again. They're, they're kind of irrelevant to the functionality here. That's just what I did. And then when I put more than one ring terminal here, I left them flat. And I would say there's probably room for, eh, well, it's an infinite amount. It's as, as deep as a screw as you want to get. Because once you get past two, you get beyond this lip on the alligator clip itself. So you could stack these several high if you wanted to, if that's how you want to roll. So here we go. 
We've got our alligator clip, our ring terminals. We have our six wires in our banana plug. Quick setup. This is awesome. Uh, if anybody can think of an antenna system that this will not work with, I'm talking about a portable antenna system for portable operations, Poto Soda, backyard portable, put it in the description below. I like a challenge. I'll see if I can figure it out. There you have it, a single radial system that'll cross over all brands of antenna systems for portable operations. Hope you found this helpful friend. Talk to you soon, 73.